I'm Rob Woodfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Friday, September 25th. Broadcom co-founder Henry Samueli could see prison time after the 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals dismissed an appeal seeking to overturn a judge's rejection of a plea bargain. That plea deal in a stock option case was rejected last September by U.S. District Judge Cormac Carney, who called it too lenient. The decision by the federal court Thursday means Samueli faces up to five years in prison. Sentencing has yet to be scheduled. Members of the UCI local of UPTE, a union representing research, professional and support staff, protested the state of budget negotiations on the first day of the fall quarter at UCI. UC Irvine students expressed lots of frustration but little anger over a proposed 30% increase in fees as classes resumed for fall quarter. Comparatively, few students joined roughly 150 union workers and supporters in a protest rally that had the misfortune to occur in 95 degree heat. A former Santa Ana City College football player and his high school friend pleaded guilty Thursday to sexually assaulting an 18-year-old female acquaintance while she was unconscious in an encounter they preserved on videotape. 20-year-old Michael Clemens of Tustin and 23-year-old John Foster of Seaside in Monterey County pleaded guilty to eight sexual felony assault charges and are scheduled to be sentenced on November 6th. Co-defendant 21-year-old Lester Lewis of Irvine, also a former Santa Ana City College football player, is scheduled to stand trial on similar charges in November. A 75-year-old Fullerton woman was found guilty Thursday of felony hit-and-run and vehicular manslaughter for running over and killing an 89-year-old pedestrian in a Placentia Church parking lot. Anna Maria Torres of Fullerton was also convicted of providing false information to a police officer in the August 26, 2006 death of Jesse Pound. Prosecutors said Torres ran over Pound, left without stopping, and then later lied to police and claimed she did not know she had struck anyone. Torres now faces a potential four-year term in prison at her sentencing on October 16th. Authorities say a then-employee took donations meant for Compass Bible Church in Aliso Viejo and siphoned the offerings into her own bank account, stealing more than $200,000 from the church over an extended period. 37-year-old Christina Bach of Ladera Ranch was arrested Thursday on suspicion of grand theft, bringing to an end an investigation that started almost a year ago. Officials charged that Bach took advantage of the similarity between her name's initials CB and the churches to direct donations into her account, claiming Bach told people to make check donations out to CB. Bach is currently being held in lieu of $250,000 bail. And you can read more about all of these stories and get your breaking news all day at OCRegister.com. Dot com.